Hi, Twitch. Welcome. Hi, we fired everybody else. It's just the two of us now. <laughs> yeah, the, the two OG members. We'll bring Chris back. <laughs> <laughs> Justin just moments ago finished watching the Nintendo Direct, so he's going to have hot, hot impressions. Um, sure. I, I've, well... <laughs> I guess I'll say this again when the show actually starts, but out of 36 minutes of Nintendo Direct, I cared about maybe five minutes of it. Well, a lot of... But the, that, lot five, of, that five minutes has me really excited, so... A lot of the anime minutes kind of dragged on, but a lot of them had me excited at the same time, like that Platinum game. Mm, give it to me. Yeah, right? And, oh, oh my God, that trailer at the end. Like, mm -hmm. I normally don't like Japanese animation that looks like that, but that was just, like, incredible. <sighs> yeah, It looked agree. like they basically... It looked like an animated comic book, basically. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I'm kind of with you there, too, on on that same spectrum as well. You know, like... That thing that we're not going to talk about yet. <laughs> yeah, you know the thing that there were with the things and the the guys and the so, gals. So I'm eating nachos, so I apologize for whatever noises you either have to edit out or um, disclaim in the show notes or the. <laughs> I have um, popcorn. It's holiday cookie dough popcorn, and it's freaking delicious. I'm surprised it isn't stale. <laughs> mm. I've got I've got rice cakes in in the cupboard, but um, I'm gonna fatten myself up first. <laughs> I got I got a jar, a whole jar of Tostitos smooth and creamy. Okay. I added a little bit of milk to make it thinner and you know give me more of it. And then I got some bite-sized tortilla chips. And this is my supper. <laughs> Heather is off to. Go get something from somewhere. So I expect her to make an appearance halfway through the show to deliver my dinner. Mm. I gave Melissa her uh, her Valentine's present today because we're both working tomorrow. Um, I got this. It's a Lennox porcelain. I don't know, porcelain. Lennox sculpture. I don't know what it's uh sculpted in mm -hmm. of Mickey and Minnie holding hands while riding in one of the the teacups. Oh, okay. And That's awesome. uh, she had pointed she she had showed it to me like months ago and said this would make an awesome cake topper for our wedding. So 
I figure it can sit on our on our mantle or bookshelf until until then, and then we'll wash it off and stick it on the cake. Right. That's awesome. He's like, I didn't get you anything. I said, you paid for a hundred dollar meal at a Japanese restaurant for my birthday. I got you nothing for your birthday. We're even. <laughs> Hi, Steve. All right, you guys hear me? Speaking oh, of yeah. getting nothing for his birthday. <laughs> actually, speaking of getting me nothing for my birthday. <laughs> I got nobody yeah. nothing for anybody's birthday. <laughs> okay, Eugene, I'm going to share my screen again real quick. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll put us on uh, on break. We'll be right back, Twitch, so then you don't have to see all the... Okay. It's crazy. Okay, so playback is... Uh... <laughs> started mm -hmm. hi twitch we're back we love you sorry sorry twitch my computer sucks <laughs> all right what's up three hellhound and sky pharaoh in chat thanks for joining us um i'm going to level out my music i guess here while we're waiting stall, stall for me eugene you got this Eight viewers. Sweet. He's still going to be here. Come in down spirit. to patreon.com slash infendo radio and sign up today. If you that? like cartoony Italian plumbers, you're in the no, right good. place. You can't hear music, I assume? Yeah, I, we heard it. I, I heard it. Mouse. Fuck, where's my mouse there? Are we using Lucas for all of our. <laughs> I know, I should have. I should have, huh? <laughs> you still can? No, nah, they're already late. done. I have to edit the, I, them together. I told him. I told him I want Link's Awakening for the stuff tonight, and he told me no. 
Yeah, if I hadn't have already done it yesterday, I would have. And if it wasn't crazy at work, where I would, where I could have like snuck away for a half hour to do that, I would have. But see, yeah. you see what you get for being on top of your shit, Eugene. <laughs> now you know how I normally feel, except for tonight. <laughs> really. All right, are we ready to roll, or you uh, need a second, Steve? Nah, we can start rolling. I'm just getting all my windows open now. Okay, so oh, we I, th I figure we'll, the Nintendo Direct will just kind of play by ear. We'll just, uh, there's a link there, by the way, if you haven't seen that, you can get to the actual press oh. release where there's like, um, you know, more, there's like images and, well, I don't know if there's images, but there's more links to other things and stuff. But anyways. I've, I've got it here on my iPad. Okay, cool. I have balls. So I assume that we're going to uh, talk about that for a good while, and then we'll just roll into yes. Nintendo Tunes after that. Well, Lucas isn't here, so we can skip all the anime stuff. <laughs> well, I don't know that Lucas is the only one interested. The only one that I might skip over is... Well, we'll talk about it. <sighs> yeah. We'll get there. Okay, you guys ready? Let's get this show on the road. Yep. All right, let me mute myself and start that. Oh, wait, what? we didn't sync up. Is... Let's do that first. No, Is everybody still recording? Need to sync, yeah. Yep. All right. In three, two, one. <laughs> I don't know what that was, Justin, but I like the way that your mouth was moving. Tell me what you were at. Uh, you, I forgot. Seventeen twenty-eight, I think. You look like trying Andros. I was a popping noise, but the third one didn't come out. <laughs> Uh, Steve? 352. Okay. I, I considered just crunching directly into the mic, but I wasn't sure if it would pick it up. <laughs> okay, I'm muting myself and starting the audio. Here we go. Want to support the show and get some cool rewards just as a bonus for being awesome? Head on down to patreon.com slash infendoradio and sign up today. If you like cartoony Italian plumbers, you're in the right place. Infendo Radio is on now. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Infendo Radio. This is episode number 300. Oh, God, 480. Um, this is the 13th of February. I hope you got your Valentine's Day gifts. Um, welcome, everybody. It's a Nintendo Direct Day. It's Infendo Radio Day. It's an exciting day all around. How are you feeling, Justin? Uh, good. Um, those of you listening to the audio version of this who can't see the video, um, any annoying crunching sounds throughout the show are going to be me. Um, my supper is nachos. Fair. <laughs> uh, Steve, um, what is your supper and how are you feeling tonight? Well, my supper is on its way. We okay. are having Hawaiian food tonight, so unlike Justin, I won't so, be eating through So, pizza? No, like actual Hawaiian food, <laughs> like pork and rice and teriyaki sauce and all the good stuff. You guys have Mobetas where, you are, where you're at? Or is that not, a Utah thing? Not from here. Uh -uh. We have all of them. I don't know what it is, but it's. <laughs> 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 that's probably what we'll do for dinner tomorrow, actually. Nice. I, I, uh -huh. Okay, I live in like the Italian America cap Italian American capital of the world, at least the Northeast United States, and uh, we've got more. We've got like an Italian restaurant on every block, and a few years ago, they actually had the nerve to open an Olive Garden in one of the most Italian cities in the in the upstate. <laughs> had the nerve? Have you not had their breadsticks? Oh, I love Olive Garden, unironically, but <laughs> it's, it's genuine Italian food, it is not. <laughs> Olive Garden, if you want to sponsor us, please hit us up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, we have uh, actually a really awesome show here for you tonight. We've got uh, the Return of Nintendo's here for the month, so that's exciting. Um, and Nintendo gave us a present they dropped a nintendo direct for us tonight so we're going to talk about that so and they uh, did it on wednesday and not thursday like they normally do <laughs> exactly right exactly they know when infendo radio is they're listening <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so we're gonna take a little break here and then we're gonna jump right into that i love justin how you like move closer to the mic <laughs>
material, Justin. <laughs> hey, can you guys tell on camera when I'm farting? Oh, God. I'm starting the music and muting myself. Here we go. <laughs> oh, wait. I need to make an audacity note. <laughs> yeah, Justin farting. <laughs> I mean, I'll turn off my camera next time if it's up. If you want to see the show live as it happens with all the gaffes, well, you can. If you go to twitch.tv slash radio, you can see what color gloves we're all wearing. All right, we're back. Um, it is news time and uh, breaking news indeed because Nintendo dropped some news for us right before the show started. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of news to get to. So um, I, I don't even really know where to start. Um, I, okay, I, I do know where to start. Everybody Let's... give me your one favorite announcement from this um, direct. No. <laughs> yes. I can't narrow it to one. Fucking awakening <laughs> period end of story i would drop the mic but then i have to move around and pick it up <laughs> i i don't know it's either it's either link's awakening or <sighs> mario maker 2 and i yeah just like which series do i like the most it depends on the what time of what day because um, I was seriously, seriously like Link's Awakening. I think was a little bit better for me because it was more or less out of nowhere. Like everybody's been talking about, hey, they should remake it, but there's never been really any like rumors or or anything that it was actually happening. Whereas we Super Mario Maker Two about it, what we talked about it, yeah. But I mean, it's never really been like Nintendo secrets don't tend to stay secret very well. So uh, I, yeah, right. And then this, so this still kind of came out of nowhere. Um, but Mario Maker 2 kind of figured was going to happen because the first one was such a success. Still, um, yeah, let's talk about Mario Maker 2 since it started the... What, uh, what was your favorite, Eugene? Oh, yeah. yeah. My, my favorite. Okay, so I, I, I was going to say Mario Maker. But then I was going to say Link's Awakening, but you guys covered them both for me. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to say Dragon Quest XI. That game yeah. looked awesome. I, mm -hmm. I And I don't really... Like, I've gotten into the Dragon Quest games slightly. Like, the, my favorite one was 9 on the DS way back when. But my goodness, does this look amazing. Mm -hmm. I said on air that if that game came to Switch, I would buy it. I will be buying it. When do I have to buy it? Because I have, I already have a busy April coming up. <laughs> um, <laughs> it says fall, so I, they didn't give fall, us an okay. actual date. Thank God, because let's talk about April for a second. I got <laughs> game cards. I've got Box Boy, which was announced today. Um, I still have to beat the first one and play the other two. There were two other games I brought up. Uh, Dark Siders War Master Edition and... You said There's Box one Boy. Other you said Box Boy already, right? Yeah, bo yeah, Box Boy, Dark Siders, Shovel Knight, and I can't remember for the life of me what the fourth one was, but I already was the Box game. Boy. <laughs> it it might have been. I'll go back and look at the chat from earlier. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, but I guess Justin, you you kind of went there. Let's talk Mario Maker because I think that's probably at least for most Nintendo fans, that's probably going to be the biggest announcement of today's direct. Um, I don't know. At least it, it, it seemed to be the biggest announcement that Nintendo had in store for us, anyways. So, what what did you, your thoughts there? I first of all, I love the new interface. I like how like the they have the different wheels. Mm -hmm. So instead of having everything just in a grid that you know is more or less not organized, and then you have to move them around, you've got the wheels. So you select an enemy, and then you've got different spokes on the wheel that have different enemies on them and the same thing with blocks and everything. So I think the interface, especially for a non touch based system is going to be very intuitive. Yeah. We have slopes now, which was something everybody wanted in the last game. So Dude, can... did you see the sun? The sun is there. Yes. The sun is there. Um, there's a new, the, the tornado. Is, I didn't see the tornado. A, yeah, there. I watched the trailer again. There's some sort of a tornado mechanic too. All right. Well, so basically, you can recreate that one level of Super Mario Brothers three that used those things. Yes, <laughs> please give it to me. <laughs> um, no, it'll be neat to see how people use. The, like one of the things about the Mario games, especially 
you know, the more recent ones is that they'll take an idea, use it once and never use it again. And it's nice yeah. to see, you know, Super Mario Maker bring these things out so that you're like, hey, let's see what else we can do with this. Um, we've got a new skin, for lack of a better term, the Super Mario 3D World, which is kind of odd considering you can't make 3D levels, but I kind of dig the way it's got that 2.5D, you know, like yeah. Donkey Kong Country style look to it and a side-scrolling Mario game, which is what... They, if they're going to keep making 2D Marios with the, you know, style that they've been doing, I would definitely like to see them use that. I wonder I wonder if they'll call that skin Super Mario 2D World. Because that sounds just cheesy enough to where they might do it. <laughs> um, Are, did they, you guys did say not... anything about Cat Mario? Because that's the prob... Yes. Okay, because that's yeah. probably the biggest uh, thing that I did. I well, oh, we didn't say anything about it, but yeah, they... Oh. they They've got Cat Mario in. I wonder, like, I'm wondering the pipe, how... those those clear pipes are back that fireballs travel through. Yeah, yeah, right? like, and you can have things come at you from the background, so that's kind of interesting. Ooh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, there was there was a if I'm not mistaken, I'd have to go back and watch it, but I think there was a scene in the trailer where there were like bullet bills coming towards the camera. Oh, right. dude. And so, but I'm wondering a how like. One of the things about Super Mario Maker 1 was you could take any level and put it in any, you know, visual thing. And it will pretty much go through, like, some items wouldn't carry over or, right. or would behave differently. But for the most part, like, I wonder how they're going to do this now. Like, is changing a skin going to completely change your experience or what, you know? Um, they didn't show the original Super Mario Brothers. Um and they haven't shown, besides the 3D world, they haven't shown anything else. So we've seen Mario 3, Mario World, New Super Mario, and Mario 3D. So I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of okay with that. I mean, I'd like to see the, the Super Mario Brothers come back. In fact, I'd like to see them add some other ones. Like, what about All-Stars? What about Game Boy? You know? What about paid DLC? There you I'd go. Be okay with that too, actually. Oh yeah, like I don't. I, I don't I, want it as. I don't want it as day one pay, Day one paid DLC. No, like but that. Nintendo doesn't usually do that to us. So, right. you right. know, the one thing that I'm um, that I'm a little bit sad about that they're how they announced Mario Maker is that they didn't announce Zelda Maker. <laughs> to be honest for you, yeah. with you. That I feel really like cool. Zelda Maker would be extremely difficult to logistically. To do. And, yeah, and and I don't, and I'm not saying that they would never do it, right. but because you're now designing in three dimensions, and you're also designing multiple rooms that have to interlock and maybe even interact. You know, I feel like that's going to require a lot more programming time and play testing and all that. It sure. could be something they're making, but I think they have to, uh, you know, they have to make sure it works first. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. But uh, I guess moving on in the direct, because I guess there is there is a lot to talk about. Um, did what else kind of struck your guys' fancy? Hey, what was that game hey. again called from the the Undertale guy? Um, I, I can't remember what that one oh. was. Oh, uh, hang on, hang on. It's like Delta yeah, something. Delta Delta Rune. Rune? Delta yeah. Rune. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that Rune. one looked cool. <laughs> and the first chapter is going to be free, so that's awesome. Yeah, that's nice. Get you hooked, and then have you pay for the other chapters. Yeah, uh, which I is, like that. Which is so much better than the way um, these divided games worked last generation, where you yeah. know you pay ten bucks for chapter one, and then you have to pay more money for chapter two and it's like no i already bought this game once if you don't want to give me everything now then you know screw you but even giving it to telltale you games free, what even the telltale games had they done that with a lot of the telltale games and got you to play the yeah. first chapter of walking dead season one or minecraft or game of thrones or whatever they probably yeah. could have sold a ton of season passes that way oh yeah for sure for sure and they might yeah right 
Can we talk uh, about Zelda for just a quick second? I know there's not a lot to say because they haven't shown a lot. Yeah, let's talk. Ze- let's talk Zelda. Let's <laughs> I talk figured with- we'd save that for last, like so, Nintendo did. But sure, let's go. No, for no, it. no. We're we're gonna go right into this. <laughs> so, this is like my hype game of the year. By the way, the fourth game I was thinking of. Side note was Crash Team Racing. I'm stoked about that. Um, but yeah, so Which, we thankfully they didn't show us. Yeah. Uh, we saw the water, and the the way the water was in this trailer, I almost thought that they were showing us something Pokemon related. It reminded me of Pokemon the first movie. It did look very Pokemon esque that that opening yeah. cinematic. And then they show the boat and the lightning. And once you see the boat, the lightning, and Link, anybody that's ever played Link's Awakening knows that that is the opening cutscene. I I feel so, like I feel like they kind of showed their hand a little too early. Like I if. If I were Nintendo, I would have edited out any shots of Link because the moment yeah. you saw any part of him, you knew who it was. Oh, and, I, I thought I thought that, that, that was, I I kind of think that uh, that that's fine. Like because they, yeah. they, if they would have waited any longer to get into the reveal into the gameplay, I think it would have just been too much because I think it was just just perfect. Like you know, I don't know how long it took you guys, but like you know, five se- ten seconds into the trailer, I was like, oh, I know what this is. This is awesome. Is this a Zelda game? Well, yeah. What kind of Zelda? Unfortunately, game is this? Facebook ruined it for me before I got <laughs> to see the trailer. So oh shoot. Well, yeah, and I'm just kind of looking back at the chat. And as soon as I saw Link, I was like, oh, fuck, Link's Awakening. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. And it was like that for about a minute and a half. Like, that so was you've absolutely... got a lot of editing to do, Eugene. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I am stoked. And the reason is, is because Link's Awakening is the first Zelda game that I ever completed. And it's the reason that I'm into Zelda. And I know I've said that on the show before. But for me to get a remake of this, I was not fond of the gameplay the first time I watched the trailer. Because I was watching it on my cell phone, on you know 4G connection, so it was kind of cutting in and out and in and out and in and out. But when I watched the trailer a second and a third and a fourth time, I'm sold because that's exactly what it should look like in HD. Like it I looked like, perfect. I like that it's basically a link between worlds, but with more detail. Right, right. Like, it's very cartoony and. You know, like this is the this is what I want from from a yeah. Zelda game after like I will admit I'm disappointed that it's a remake and not an original game because we haven't gotten well we haven't gotten a real <laughs> go away Winnie. We haven't gotten a real those of you listening at home, my cat <laughs> is pawing at my hand and trying to lick the salt and cheese off of chip it. And finish your thought. I don't have a chip. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, let's see. The last 2D Zelda game we got, not counting Triforce Heroes, was A Link Between Worlds, which for all intents and purposes was kind a of remake. like a remake of, of what's it there? A then we had, yeah. uh, before that we had... I guess we had the two Wind Waker sequels. Um, so yeah, we haven't true. really had... Um, we a haven't really Zelda. had an original Zelda, overhead Zelda game in a long time. And I was yeah. really hoping it would be an original game with a new world with that kind of graphics. But now we know they have the engine. Yeah. So... Well, wow. maybe we get maybe we get Link's Awakening this year, and you know, two years from now, we get something brand spanking new. Don't tease me, and you Justin. have, and you have to admit, if we're going to get another remake, they could not have picked a better game to give us a remake of. And it's been long enough since that game last came out that I think they said ninety three was when it originally came out. Twenty, not counting the DX remake, twenty six years and. Fuck, I'm old, but <laughs> oh, I know, I know. But, I uh, I was I was like nine when that game came out. Yeah, I can I ask was... you a question as a fellow fan of the game, and then we can move on to something else. <laughs> yeah, I Where... guess we have to talk about the rest. Are you okay with the music? Because I was not a fan of the sound selection for this trailer, and um, I really hope that the rest of the music is better than what we heard in that little trailer. Yeah, I I have a feeling that they're going to 
orchestrate the music because they did for Link Between Worlds. So right. I have a and feeling that soundtrack that, is amazing. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to get an orchestrated soundtrack, but they probably haven't recorded it yet. So they just gave us the, you know, the synthesized demo for the trailer. But on the other hand, we got fully orchestrated trailer music for Skyward Sword and Breath of the Wild. So, you know, maybe right. this is what it's going to sound like. Maybe they want it to sound retro and, and you know, bloopy. Also a good point. But I'm with you. Yeah, I'd rather hear them do some simple orchestrations like Link Between Worlds. Right. Right. Well, um, I guess I should just read through the list of all the games that were talked about in some form or fashion, at least according to the um, the press <laughs> the press release that Nintendo gave us. So uh, let's go. We got Super Mario Maker 2. We got Link's Awakening. We got Astral Chain. That one looks re looked really cool, actually. That was that platinum one. Yeah, yeah, that one did look kind of cool. I thought I saw I thought I saw Kojima's name on there, but it was Kamiya's name that I saw yeah. pop up. So I was yeah, a these, sad. yeah, these are all platinum game veterans. But I mean, mm. there's some. Good, I'm kind of disappointed we're not getting Wonderful 101 because I've always wanted to try that, and I thought maybe Switch would be the place. But yeah, hey, plat platinum. Platinum does good stuff, so for sure. And I'm I'll I'm surprised that that's coming so soon because they announced it for August. So like you know that's just a few months away. That's pretty great. Mm -hmm. Um, so we also have Fire Emblem Three Houses. Kind of a I, I mean not for me. I, I it was a little too anime, too much anime, yeah. anime, too much <laughs> anime. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, um, Box Boy and Box Curl. Uh, that one looked cool, Steve. I'm sure you're excited for Sign. some co-op Box yes. Boy. Yes. It's not the trilogy I was hoping for, but that's okay. I will take a, a new box boy. I'm I, I was going to say, this looks like even better than a trilogy, right? Because this is going to be all new levels and two players. And it, and so be, That's just it, is it'll be one that hopefully I can convince my wife to play with me. And if not, great, then I'll play it by myself just fine. I, right. uh, I haven't finished the first box boy, but it is one of my favorite games on the 3DS, so... So when I finish good. it, I will play. I will play the other two, and hopefully, be able to at least finish most of them before Box Boy and Box Girl comes out. Because they are great little puzzle platformers with lots of personality, and hopefully, this means we'll get a re-release of the QB Amiibo that <laughs> like, notoriously is, difficult what, to find. It's one of the. I think it's the second or third most expensive Amiibo to date. <sighs> oh dang! No kidding. And yeah, that's I what I get for not getting one on Amazon when I saw it. Right? Yeah, Seriously. I, think I, I think I paid like 35 for mine. Worth it. <laughs> yeah, that would be worth it for me. So the next game on our list was a surprise to me. because It actually kind of almost had me believing that we were going to get some kind of Battle Royale. And we, I guess, kind of are the Tetris 99. That was, <gasps> that was I interesting. I forgot about this. I need to download <laughs> this. I was going to play that tonight. Yeah, you can download it right now, as a matter of fact. that Free-to-play game, like, yeah, cool. That's awesome. I think that's going to be really neat. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I will definitely play. Like, Tetris, I, I generally prefer Dr. Mario over Tetris. I'll be honest. But uh, Puyo Puyo is not, you know, is not up there in my favorites. I think... Puzzle League, Puzzle League, and Dr. Mario, I prefer over Tetris. But to play like this massively multiplayer competitive Tetris game is going to be a trip, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. yeah now just sure. give me Dr. Mario 99. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, there you Justin. go. <laughs> Make it Dr. Luigi, and I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> mm. All right. So then we also got Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Um, that game was. I, I played like the prequel ish to that game. The it was like the the eight bit version of it or whatever yeah. that came out first. So I'm actually really excited about this one. Um, that one looks like it's going to be coming out soon as well. Um, Mortal Kombat 11. We already knew that was coming, but we got to you know see some trailer, uh, tra see yeah. it in a trailer form. Looks like it's yeah, going to be. I, oh, go ahead. I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I think I could. It kind of looked like we were actually seeing switch footage too, because. Yeah. It was clearly not as graphically intense as the trailer they showed 
a few weeks ago, but it still looks really good. So I have uh, I have uh, more confidence in the Switch port than I did when they first announced it, and that will probably be the way I get it because you know nothing greater than popping off a Joy-Con and saying, "Here you yeah, go." Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Right? No kidding. And what what's good about this? And I I I think anyways, it seems to be launching right. Um, side by side with its um, bigger console brothers, you know, the Xbox One and the PS4. So that's good to see. I remember when the Switch was first um, coming out, it would be like a few months between games if it was launching on the same console. So it's it's nice to see they're ironing that kind of stuff out. Um, next, we have Yoshi's Crafted World. I don't usually get excited for Yoshi games, but this one looks awesome. Like, it looks really beautiful. It looks really well done. I like I, I liked that there was a couple of aspects where you have to shoot your eggs into the foreground, or I'm sorry, into the background, rather. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that, yeah, it looks really cool. You know, it just seems like there are so many of these two and a half D platform games that should have come out on the 3ds <laughs> when the 3ds still had 3d <laughs> right well but... that's why they're gonna launch the switch 3d here pretty soon <laughs> then don't worry Ex infendo exclusive you heard it here first <laughs> So uh, next on our list was an oldie but a goodie and actually kind of neat. Um, so Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker is actually getting DLC. So um, it's not often that Nintendo does DLC. I mean, they have, you know, supported a couple of games via DLC. But this is a – I think this is a game that um, – that that it could use it you know because it had a lot of levels and i have a feeling nintendo had a lot of um ideas left on the drawing board you know well and it's easy enough because you know unlike you know something like mario odyssey where you have to build this living breathing world expansive world i mean captain toads are just puzzle boxes i mean yeah. you could build them out you you build them out of legos you scan them into the computer and and you know there you go and, upload them to the internet i mean it's the game is it's just made for that sort of you know justin like, you just you just made me think of a million dollar idea for nintendo let's pause <laughs> the show no just kidding so uh, picture this children it's a giant amiibo set it's like but it's like a puzzle thing and then as you make your puzzle that turns into a captain toad level or whatever and you can buy yeah. different like pieces to, to put into it and beam it onto your console nobody's ever going to do <laughs> that but like that would be cool um Interesting. Um, I did notice that they specified that this DLC would be for the Switch version and not for the 3DS version, mm. which disappoints me because um, the 3DS version was going to be the version I got because of the, you know, the 3D aspect, I think, helps gameplay. Um, but... You know, now maybe if I do end up getting Treasure Tracker again, I'll get it for the Switch just so I can have the additional, you know, stuffage. I had no interest in getting it whatsoever. And then they revealed the extra DLC for it and the bundle. <laughs> now I'm sold. Right. So, uh, yeah, that I'm. I, it seems interesting enough, you know, so I'm, I'm excited. So our next bit was they talked about Smash. Sort of. It was more like an advertisement for the Fighters Pass, in my opinion, but because uh, we didn't yeah. really get any new information or anything. But we did learn that um, that there were going to be some new amiibo, and we I, we already knew that they were going to be there. But I think this might have been our first look. Um, I have my to King K yes. rule is going to be here in a couple of days. Nice. I, I, I have to get that ready. Pokemon trainer. I have to. I, I yes, think I, might I want have to the get, Pokemon trainer. I, think I don't I have care to get about any of the other Pokemon. I've, I've got a Mewtwo. I've got a Pikachu. I need a Pokemon trainer. Yeah. Could I can I say something about amiibo real quick? And this is going to shock the crap out of you guys. So I'm uh -oh. glad we have this recorded. Uh-oh. I'm kind of over the whole Amiibo sets mm. thing. It's gotten to be such a pain in the ass. I don't feel like I need very many more of these Amiibos. All right. Mark I... calendars, kids. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, have... look, I, look at this. I'm not going to complete a set because I don't want to do the third-party Amiibos. I don't want to do the Pokemon. Well, see, like... and then, I mean, for me, Amiibo is all about having this 
this figure, this well sculpted figurine of a character I like that also happens to have functions in a game. Right. So and like it was never about the it was never about the gotta catch them all aspect of it. I didn't care about having every single Smash amiibo because half of those characters I don't care well, about any of the Fire Emblem characters. Right, and my my original justification for the Smash Amiibo was like, okay, so I'll get all the Pokemon Smash Amiibo, I'll get all the Zelda <laughs> Smash Amiibo, but I don't need all 50 whatever Smash Amiibo were out last time. Right. Yeah. Right. But I'm even over that at this point, amazingly. I'm already getting King K. Rule. I want yeah, Snake. Mm. Uh, yeah. uh, what other new characters do we have? Piranha Plant comes oh, out yeah. tomorrow. I'll, I will get a Piranha Plant if I can, because that's because I just can't what that amiibo is going to look like. You can get yeah. Simon if you care about Castlevania. Yeah, you know what the the most experience I have with Castlevania games are uh, playing Bloodstained uh, last night. Oh yeah, because and... I was free on Xbox Live. I I was wondering if you were going to get that. Yeah. And uh, nice. playing playing as Simon and Richter Belmont in uh, Smash Brothers. Fair, fair <laughs> beyond enough. that, beyond that, I've never played anything Castlevania. No, I take that back. I played the demo of Symphony of the Night when it came out on Xbox Live. But nice. right. well, our next bit of news was um, they talked about a port in Hellblade Senwa's. I think is how you pronounce that. Senwa's Sacrifice. Um, that game. You. I'm sorry. I said, bless you. That sounded like a mouth. <laughs> that game's already been out on PlayStation 4, and I think it came out on Xbox last year or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it looks interesting enough. I might might give it a purchase. It, it's probably cheaper on other consoles, though, probably. So if I really care about it, I might just get it on the Xbox One. But yeah, anyways. That, that good old Switch tax. Yeah, right. <laughs> but um, anyways, we then got um, another look at... Uh, gosh, is it Demon X Machina or Damon X Machina? Da I think it's Damon. I think it's Damon. Damon yeah. X Machina. I, I feel like I'm. I think yeah. that's what I've heard other podcasters say. So we'll mimic. Yeah, that. I think it's that's Damon smart. X Machina. I, I think it's like one of those A E, the A E M O N. Yeah, like Damon Hatfield. Yeah, there you go. That one looked really good, and um, there's going to be a de a demo for it. So, like, I might actually give it a shot. I probably yeah. I probably wouldn't have like it looks really cool. Don't get me wrong, but it's probably just one that I would have put passed on. Since there's a demo, I'm definitely gonna gonna take a you know give it a closer look. And if I like it, I actually might buy it. You know, so I think it's smart on their part to release that demo like that. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I know Nintendo doesn't do demos nearly as often as they probably should, but especially considering, right. you know, it was the Splatoon test fire that got everybody excited to actually play that game, and now it's, you know, a tentpole franchise for them, so. Mm-hmm, exactly, exactly. Um, so, yeah, that, that one looked cool. Um, we also then heard of Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order. I think we heard about this a while back, but, um, you know, it's good to yeah. kind of see that finally in action. I'm excited for it, but I don't know if they ever said there was going to be... Oh, no, there is going to be online. Oh, yes, no. Yes, there is online. Oh, no, then I might there's, have to there's get There's online, it. same screen, and, and uh, you know, like wireless local. That's awesome. That's awesome. So then we Not had um, Dragon Quest Na 11, which we talked about briefly 11. earlier. Um, that one looks really cool. I'm excited for that one, in addition to Dragon Quest Builders 2. And then we also heard of, oh, God, forgive me, this title of this name. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Oni Naki. I probably you. butchered that, but it sounds good to me. I love you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> sounds good um, to me because Japanese is actually incredibly easy to pronounce. <laughs> I honestly don't really remember this game during the direct much. I think maybe they glanced over it or I gla glazed over when they were talking about it. But, um, <laughs> yeah, that there's that one. Um, we yeah, heard... there was a lot of anime stuff <laughs> <laughs> yeah for real and that's usually when i tune out um then we had um some dlc it looks like for starlink so that's kind of neat I, I don't know what how you feel about that justin because you were the one that was kind of already like deep in the starlink uh I'm, money pit i'm not oh yeah well this because i purchased it twice yeah <laughs> 
Um, yeah, um, I, I like Starlink and the fact that they're continuing to support it with Switch exclusive Star Fox, uh, you know, material is mm -hmm. like it just it validates my purchase now because I know I will continue to go back to that game. Like it's right now, it's kind of a slow burn for me because I'll like once a week I'll pick it up, play it for an hour or so, and be like, yeah. It's, I mean, there's not a whole lot of variety. It's basically a series of fetch quests with story in, in between, mm -hmm. but um, I mean, it plays well and it's, it's certainly a creative idea and putting Star Fox in it was just brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely. bet Lucas is excited for that. Cause yeah. I seem to remember him saying that was the best Star Fox game in years. Yeah. yeah. I would yeah. Uh, know because he, I've said it's the best Star Fox game in years. He still thinks Star Fox zero is good. <laughs> okay, that's fair, but I'm sure he's still thrilled. Um, yeah, so, it's, yeah, it's it's I, a great game, and and I'm and I'm happy for more stuff. All right, go ahead, Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just gonna move on to the next part, and I don't know what this is. What is a Disney Sum Sum? Somebody help me out with Zoom, this. Oh, all right, Sum Sum is Mr. Disney. <laughs> what? Mr. Disney. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah, Sum Sum is kind of like. It... all right in, in the disney in the disney parks especially they went through phases of basically redesigning their characters into kind of homogenized designs so it started out with the cutie pie designs where they basically took the characters and made them very simple illustrations then that turned into turning them all into ball shapes and they would sell like mickey mouse in a ball and you know winnie the pooh is a ball and then that evolved into these little like hamster shaped ham leg and headless hamster shaped <laughs> things i don't know how else to describe it, it it's like a how would you describe a 3d oval is the best way to describe it. yeah like it, so it, like like a pill capsule there yeah that's that's a good description yeah it's like it's except a little bit flatter and squishier and they're they sell scary. these all what they're scary yeah, it's yeah. weird. They sell them all over Disney World. They probably sell them in Disney stores around the country. We only have one in New York, so. Um, but yeah, I'm not totally into Zoom Zoom. Apparently, they're very collectible and people love them. They, they're my probably sister, you know, my they're sister probably shops big in at Hallmark all the time. Yeah, yeah, she shops at Hallmark and all the time, and they they carry them there, and they are the most abysmal thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I, I'm not, and and the fact that this is the Disney game we're getting, like I, it's I've so been weird. eyeing, I've been eyeing the Disney Magical World games on the 3DS just because they're like my Nintendo reward coupons for them, and they basically look like Animal Crossing in Disney World. But I would have rather had one of those on the Switch. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I don't think we actually said the name of the game either. It's called Disney Sum Sum Festival. Is that is that how you pronounce it? Sum Sum. Yeah. yeah. Sure. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> get get out of here. Sum Sum in a way. Our next game was um, Room Factory. I, 4. the Disney fan, do not care. So moving on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So our next games, I guess, were Room Factory Four. Um, special and then an announcement um, of an announcement, I guess, for Rune Factory Five, kind of just like a, uh, you know, kind of like what we got with Metroid, right? We just kind of got yeah, a logo. I was just about to say. <laughs> um, and then we had Delta Rune from the um, Endertale creator, which we talked about briefly. The first chapter on that one is going to be free, and it's actually going to be out February twenty eighth. So I'm really excited about that one. Had the dogs. There's dogs in that, that game. Give it to me. That's like a that's like a week and a half away. Yeah. Right. Seriously. I'll be, I'll be on a plane, but, you know. <laughs> then we had a slew of Final Fantasy announcements, so we... Oh, my God. Final Fantasy IX, is is, is it out already? It's or today. It's my, my, yeah. yeah, my buddy Chris. It's actually, so it's probably out. Infendo Radio alumni Chris, he actually downloaded it as soon as like he could because that's his favorite Final Fantasy game, so I, he's excited. To I have never... The, of all the Final Fantasy games that have come out since I... I since I kind of discovered I sort of kind of like Final Fantasy <laughs> 9 is the one that has intrigued me the most so I'm excited to have it in a semi portable semi big screen experience right do you still have all those gold coins that are stacking up yeah um I, I, did, I didn't only $21 getting... nice um I probably would pay the $21 and just you know hoard more gold coins <laughs> that's what you do <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, like what? What's I'll spend it on Link's Awakening or something like that. I'll I'll keep saving gold coins until I get a brand new Switch game for free. <laughs> yeah, right. There you go. So we got Final Fantasy IX today, which is awesome. Final Fantasy VII, which is going to be releasing March 26th. And then we heard of the new um, Chocobo Mystery Dungeon game called Everybody. Like everybody. Haha, ha, you get it? Um, it's going to uh, release on uh. March 20th. So that's kind of cool. Waka waka. Um, we learned that um, Dead by Daylight is going to be coming to the Switch, so um, that's kind of exciting. Have you guys heard of that one already? Or de- the nope. Dead by Daylight series? I'll, only be, only because I think Lucas said that he and somebody else were playing it the other night, and I'm like, hey, Dead by Daylight, I've heard that title in the last couple weeks. <laughs> right? So that that's comes... the, the horror game that they... Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. The, you either play as the, as the would-be victim or the killer. Yep. Okay. Yeah. That looked interesting it reminds me and i've never played it but it kind of reminds me of the multiplayer that was in um oh shoot uh, zombie U because it's kind of asymmetrical you know where one huh. player is doing the one thing and the other is kind of doing another but so yeah that looked kind of interesting um then we had assassin's creed 3 the remastered um this was this was rumored late last week so this yeah. wasn't really a surprise well it wasn't even rumored it was actually like Oh, was it leaked? It, it, yeah, it was, well, no, it was announced. Like, mm-hmm. they put it up on their website and had it in a press release and then very quickly um, took it down. Gotcha. Um, but, uh, yeah, I might end up getting this. I've been wanting to try Assassin's Creed. I would much rather have Black Flag, but apparently 3 is the one of, is the one where they finally got everything right. Yeah. Whereas, well, this, you know, the first I, two had a lot of problems. Well, and this also comes with liberation, so you get both. Right, parts. I was just gonna yeah. say that. So that's great. Like two for the. What, they... Wasn't wasn't liberation the Vita exclusive at the time, and I yes. think connected back and forth together mm-hmm. somehow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then they and then they remastered it and released it on PS3 and mm-hmm. the Xbox. For sure. So then we got the announcement of Unravel 2. Um, that's going to be launching in March on March 22nd. That's another one that would probably be this... good for co-op. Did, did... This was leaked yesterday um, as probable to come out in the direct today. I'm actually going to pick this up. When it came out to PS4, I was like, that would be awesome if it was a Okay, so, so Unraveled, <laughs> has, Unraveled has not been on a Nintendo system before. I don't, I don't believe so. No. Unra- Unraveled 1 was a PlayStation exclusive, and then I think Unraveled 2 was... Uh, playstation 4 and xbox one only and it always okay. seemed like such a nintendo game too you know so oh it's, yeah it's good to see it coming to switch that's awesome yeah. um, it's funny the graphics kind of remind me of uh little big planet oh yeah okay i can see that yeah. like, like hyper detailed hyper realistic but that weird kind of floaty physics and everything's kind of made out of crafty stuff yeah i guess i, I definitely do, do see drive that. yoshi right <laughs> Um, so then finally, um, on our list anyways, finally, we heard of Grid Autosport, um, which is cool because, um, not a lot of racing games on the Switch. I mean, we got your Mario Karts, you know, and there's going to be like, you know, your other kart racers and Crash, but like, it's good to yeah, see like a lot, racing. A bunch not a lot of realistic racers yeah. as well. Uh-huh. You mean exactly. And the ones that there are are all like your bargain bin, you know, right. You know, exactly. Kind of if, games. if this if this rivals Gran Turismo, um, I'm gonna have to look a little more into it. But if it does, that's another game that I will probably buy because I remember Gran Turismo. I used to take my memory card over to my friend Kobe's house, and we would actually race the cars that we had worked for in Gran Turismo. So if this mm-hmm. plays anything like Gran Turismo does, which I think I will, I see myself spending an unholy amount of time in that. Game. <laughs> well, if this and it, plays it's... anything like Gran Turismo, I have no interest in it <laughs> whatsoever. I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this game, and it's going to include all the DLC from the game um, when it came out. To, um, I, I, I assume it was a PlayStation 4 and Xbox One game when it came out originally. So, But um, yeah, it's going to have all the DLC included, so that's exciting. My buddy Chris, um, another again, uh, Infendo alumni, he is excited about this one. He said that he's going to double dip on this one because he's already purchased it before. So, What other system does he have? I, I imagine it's got to be PlayStation 4, but I wonder if it's like a last generation game, like an Xbox 360, PS3, but I, I doubt say, it. If, 
Uh, an smart, Xbox yeah. One game, you know, with the announcement last week, there's a chance he might even be able to transfer his game save. Yeah, right. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Shoot. Well, all right, I'm really excited tonight. I, I know <laughs> we're, we're we're bleeping Steve left and right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Awesome. Well, I think that's um, just about it. Um, do you guys have any last minute touches on the Nintendo Direct before we move on to the next segment? Yeah, Link's, Link's Awakening looks Awakening. awesome. <laughs> yep. Period. Nothing. End of story. Nothing, nothing, nothing else funny. matters. Uh, I'll, I'll, I bought it. You, I, I'll you, buy you know it. what's funny is I was actually I've been actually thinking ever since I downloaded that remastered soundtrack that God, I have to replay Link's Awakening. I want to so badly, and now that they're remaking, I'm like, all right, I'll skip Link's Awakening and go straight to Oracle. <laughs> right. Yeah, there there was just so freaking much in this direct. There was a lot to to get after, you know, like uh, gosh, like I I don't know, like the I guess one of the one of the games that really hit me and it, it hit me for the for the wrong thing. I thought it said Kojima, but that Platinum game, man, Astral Chain, like I don't yeah. know if you guys thought that it looked good, but I thought it looked great. I need to watch the trailer again. I think that was one of those points where I was glancing at the computer I was actually supposed to be working on at the time. Yeah, the again when when the anime comes on screen, I tend to tune out. But once I it, like like yeah. I kept looking back. What's weird is when the trailer first started, and it showed the like weird alien thing. My first thought was, is this a conduit sequel? I <laughs> thought that too. I was literally <laughs> thinking that. I didn't that. even think of that. They, like it looked like the was well, the drudge or whatever the hell they yeah. called it. Yeah, it lo- had the same like silhouette, right? Yeah. Yeah, and and then I'm like, no, this is futurist this is too futuristic it's too anime what the hell is this and then like i just kept on glancing up the screen and when i saw you know producer of anarchy reigns or wonderful 101 i saw one of the platinum games and then i saw another one I'm like oh okay this must be whatever platinum's working on <laughs> yeah right and yeah i mean platinum is hit or miss as far as like overall quality of their games but their originals usually turn out much better than their licensed games and at the very least their games are competently made yeah you know, exactly as 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 uh um rfn would say um a uh professional game made by professionals <laughs> right <laughs> Okay, well, we are going to take a break here, and then we're going to let Steve set up for what should be an exciting intention. So we'll be right back. Oh, yeah.
Huh. Huh. For those of you watching the live stream, I want you to notice Eugene is actually blushing. <laughs> You'll have to subscribe to our outtakes to find out why. Oh my Four god. Level, they come out as soon as I'm done with them. <laughs> that was that was that was something else. That was something well, else. You, hey, Justin's the one that put it in. Something camera. else and not <laughs> what Steve thought it was. <laughs> Uh, all yeah, right, well, Steve. Um, you uh, yeah. you know what you know um, what to do. I'm gonna start. Yeah, mute, I'm gonna mute myself. I'm gonna start the music, and you're gonna do the things. Are are we being sponsored by the Pepsi Corporation or something? We ought to be. Because I'm sitting here drinking Mountain Dew. Steve's got his Pepsi can like full on display with the label facing the camera. <laughs> it's, it's like the scene in Wayne's right. World. <laughs> The, the way it is, like, and it contract has Contractor, no. Reach. I will not it's bow perfect. to any sponsor. I was going to say, somebody do the Wayne's it's, World. <laughs> just the way this can is printed. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're starting the music. I don't know about you, but I have music I want to hear during the Nintendo segment. If you want your music played, all you have to do is go to patreon.com slash radio and join for just $2. It's like people or, only do things because they get paid. And that's just or, really sad. You can do what I do to get music on the show. Just become a host. That's <laughs> the other way to do it. But that's going to cost you a lot more money. Um, <laughs> welcome back to Infendo Radio. Episode 480. Surprisingly, I got that right, right, Eugene? Sweet. Um, uh -huh. We are going to play a segment that I have not hosted in 16 weeks, according to my memory card. Um, we're doing Nintendo Tunes. For those of you that it's your first show, which it very well could be, we may have a few new listeners now. Nintendo Tunes was kind of our bread and butter segment that we kind of don't do as much anymore to make it a little more special. But what it is, is we play game from Nintendo, from games, we play music from games that have been on Nintendo systems or are coming to Nintendo systems when I'm hosting because I'm a jerk. And oh, you're I'm doing that host. thing? Oh, not today. Steven. And I, Wait, and I make we... my co-host try and guess what it is. What are we uh, doing? Well, you know me. Every every once in a while, I'll throw in a song from a game that's been announced but hasn't been released. Oh, yeah, um, the thing that's against the rules. <laughs> yeah, I, I do have a rule, though, to when I do that, and it actually fits this week's theme. Uh, I only do that when it's a port, remake, or a remaster, which so happens to be this week's theme ports, remasters, and remakes. The only difference this week, though, is I was out of time this week, so I just pulled from old Nintendo tunes that I had done in the past, so all these games were actually out. <laughs> so this is literally a port or remaster of a previous Nintendo tunes you hosted. <laughs> Ooh. That's, good. that's pretty funny. good. <laughs> yeah, I like how you act as though that was your plan all along. Um, all right, before we get <laughs> yeah, started... That's I, brilliant, I, Justin. I'm smart. <laughs> Before we get started, I want to make sure that um, now ports does or does not include virtual console. Virtual console games I specifically left off of this list. Okay, so these are games that were that were in like port time and effort was put into yeah, so into like another system, not just a ROM dump. Right. So say it originally came out on PS3 and then they ported it to Wii U type deal. That's Actually, okay. thank you for that clarification. That is very helpful. <laughs> I, so. I, I figured because, you know, we do tend to get some shenanigans and Nintendo tunes. <laughs> Only when I host. I got to keep it interesting somehow. All right. So we're going to start off with our patron suggestions first. They don't necessarily fit the theme. I don't know. I came up with the theme before I looked at their suggestions. So our first suggestion, whose game I will not name right now, even though I almost did, comes to us from Robert Gagnon. Okay. Here we go. Loading. Loading. <laughs> How's the volume? Sounds good. I don't know what it is yet, though. All right. Was this ported to a Nintendo system or ported from a Nintendo system? So this is a listener suggestion. They are not necessarily following my theme. 
Okay, so this is a game that actually so, that yeah. appeared on a Nintendo system. In one yeah, game. this is just a Nintendo system game. Forget my theme until game number three. Noted. All right. Can we get the, another track? Yep. Oops, didn't mean to stop that one first. My bad. That's bad radio. Well, there goes my guess. Is this Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon? It is not. When I find out what game this is, I'm looking up the composer. Because there's definitely a Totaka vibe to this. I was kind of thinking that, too. Um, let me... Can we get console, maybe? Let's give you the composer first, since Justin was just hinting at that. Okay. Uh, Yutaka Minobi. Huh. Hmm. I probably butchered that. I'm sorry. Yutaka. Oh, I probably shouldn't look look yeah, it up. Google Google on that what are you chat. doing, Justin? You, you cheating son of a bitch. There's I, was, in right I wasn't intentionally trying to cheat. I was like, <laughs> huh, I wonder what other games he's done. Okay. How about, can we get uh, console this was on? Absolutely. I'm going to change the track because that one's about done. And your console is we. Oh, hell, this is a generic song, isn't it? Yes, yes, it is. As a matter of fact, this was in the first Star Fox. <laughs> and by the like way, I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a stab in the dark and say that there is a chance this might be a chord. All right. I, I'm thinking that this is uh, an RPG. Do we know if it's an RPG? Looking. Um. Yes. I'm going to give you, it is a role-playing game. It does have two other genres tied into it, but I want to hold off on those genres because if I tell you all three, you're going to know exactly what it is. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I'll, huh. I'll give you another genre for the next track. Was this game a Wii exclusive? No, it was not. Uh, this game was on Wii, PlayStation Vita. Well, that's interesting. It was Wii, it was a Wii exclusive originally, and then it was ported to PlayStation Vita, and Microsoft Windows. A Wii game ported to Vita. And by the way, this? this is the final boss theme. Oh, they really, uh, they, they really did some top-notch original compositions for this game. I know, right? You're gonna throw some Beethoven in there too while they're at it. I don't know. I'm but afraid is, to see. Is what the end boss. credits music his Fifth Symphony? <laughs> Okay, so you're so remember Ninth Symphony would probably be better game. actually. It's also a real time strategy game. A real time A real time strategy role playing game. That's two of your three genres. That uses generic classical music. <laughs> Can we get the publisher and or developer? Yep, coming up. <laughs> Is this Okami? Nope. Um your publisher in North America is X Seed Games. In Europe it's Rising Star Games and in Australia it's Rising Star Games. What the heck is this? An X Seed game. I'm gonna go back to the first track. I don't know, but the the But that's literally all my music. See, I was thinking something way different when this music started. Okay, so your complete genre list is real time strategy, life sim, role play. Your platform was originally what? You're out of music and I'm out of ideas. So I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to give up too. Yeah. Unless this is that. Uh, unless this is that. Um, no, Final Final Fantasy is Square though. What the hell is this? Justin, are you keeping score tonight? By the way, I can. But we, we played one round and nobody got anything. So yeah, no. I'm, and I'm giving up. Start. Are you giving up as well, Justin? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I gave up when you started replaying music. <laughs> okay. It is Little King's Story. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, thank you, Robert Gagnon, for stumping my that, co-host. I really that, appreciate it. That timeless gem. I've heard of that and game, that, it's, and it's actually really good. I've, I've played it, yeah. but not, like, a whole lot. 
So I think Lucas really likes that game, actually. Probably. And it, it fits the theme. It wasn't ported to a Nintendo console, but it was ported from a Nintendo console. <laughs> right. All right, let me pull up my next Wikipedia page. Okay. And away we go. This one is our second and final patron suggestion this week. By the way, patrons, disclaimer, if you suggested anything after about 8.30 last night Mountain Time, I did not get it because I was very short on time this week. I will make sure to have whoever's hosting next put that in the next list for you. Who gave the plowing? So, all right. So our next and final patron suggestion comes to us from one minus 64. And I only have four tracks for this one because one minus yeah. 64. So 63 <laughs> or negative nice. 63 rather. You're right. It would be negative 63. That sounds retro. And incidentally, this also fits our theme of uh, of Warp's remakes and remasters. So good job, patrons. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> right, keeping the theme, and you don't even know it. So this is minuses. Is this a? Yeah. Is this an RPG? Maybe. It is straight up minus here. <laughs> and remember, I only have four tracks, so I really like this soundtrack, by the way. It's very Japanese. <laughs> okay. Um, let me switch to track two, and I will give you your first hint. This game was released on in April of 2017 for PS4 and Microsoft. And at a later date for PlayStation Vita and Nintendo Switch. With ports to other platforms still planned. Okay. Was it a Kickstarter game by chance? <laughs> was it? Thank you. It is a Kickstarter game, as a matter of fact. Oh my god, I think I know what this is. I, I like can see it, but I don't remember the name. Can we get another track? Yep. Track three of four. All right, what were the hints? I was busy having a sneezing fit. <laughs> so it started out on PlayStation 4 and Windows, and it was later ported to Switch and Vita with more ports planned, and it is a role-playing game. When did it come out on Switch? Let's see if I've got a release date. Uh, August 14th, 2018. I know what this game is. It's that game. It's like. Yeah, it's that one. It's got like combat like Chrono Trigger. That's all I remember about it. But I can't remember. Dude, that, that line is straight from Wikipedia. Oh, well, there you go. I know what this game is. Oh, I just can't remember the name. The field, like the in front of Trigger. So if I were to say Google combat like Chrono Trigger, there's a very good chance I would find the name of this game. Probably. <laughs> I want to see the phone in your screen right now, Justin. Now I don't. <laughs> And, uh, uh, I'm, I'm busy having my Google hand Google. licked by my cat. So. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have a hard time with this one. How about another track? Okay, this is the final track, so I'm gonna give you the developer and the publisher because they are one and the same. Ooh, this is a good song. Um, Zaboid Games. Zaboid Games. Yeah, uh, that doesn't really or help Z though because it's, uh... look at Zaboid. Because <laughs> it's like a <laughs> Kickstarter. Boy, the boy. I remember this one because it started a long time ago. This Kickstarter. So let me read you a little bit about this. This is interesting. Um, the game was part funded through Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign, raising $132,689 towards its development. Um, and then I guess somebody else picked him up after that. Hmm. Um, it's also been released through limited run games as a physical release. Oh God, yeah. I'm on Twitter right now because I there's no way I'm getting this. Yeah, I give up. I I know what the game is. I just can't. I'll never remember the you're, title. Eugene, you're gonna kick yourself in the butt too when I tell you what it is. You ready? I'm I'm, I'm ready. 
Cosmic Star Heroine. Yes, yep, 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 yep. I knew it was like some like generic sounding name of a game, but yeah. Mm -hmm. So let me tell you what I hate about Nintendoons when I'm looking up patron suggestions. It gets expensive because I either have to buy soundtrack <laughs> or I have to buy games because the soundtrack is that good. I'm buying this game. <laughs> nice. See what I play on my way to Arizona. Well, there you go. There you go. And if you like Chrono Trigger, have you uh, you've played Chrono Trigger, right? I think that this will be right oh, up your yeah. eye. I've never beat it, but I have played it. I'm going to have so. to pick this game up, too. I think it came out last year sometime. I can't, but yeah. Awesome. All right, guys. So our patrons have stopped you. Thank you to our patrons. And that's the $2 level, if I remember right. Correct. We are doing intention in a few weeks. So if you're interested, head over to patreon.com slash Nintendo Radio. Subscribe at the $2 level. And you can suggest when those posts go live here in a couple weeks. Okay, guys. Here we go. You should get this one if you pay attention to me. What? Here's game number three. This is from yours truly. Everything going forward is yours truly. Oh, so this is the theme. This is the theme. Remakes. Yes. Shovel Knight, Shantae. Shantae. Country three. Uh, listen, ports, remasters, remakes. Is this Donkey Kong Country 3? Nope. This game is a port. Is it Tropical Freeze? Nope. Oh! Is it Donkey Kong Country Ooh, Returns? This, this does sound like Tropical Freeze, doesn't it? It's, this is very David Wise sounding. I put that together. Holy shit. This is another <laughs> one I'm going to have to look up when we're done because it sounds like David Wise. You're not going to have to look it up. I will upload the soundtrack for you because I own it. How about another one of these funky tracks? Oh, I have the whole soundtrack here because the soundtrack is just so... Okay, good. <laughs> Play another one. We don't care. It's loading. <laughs> that changed the vibe yeah. considerably. Now it sounds it's like perfect dark. dark. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, oh. Very perfect dark. What hints can I give you? Let's start with system, shall we? Okay. Let's. Oh! Are you okay? I think Justin just threw out his hip. No. Uh, a cat just jumped on my crotch. Your Nintendo system that this game was on was Nintendo Switch. Other systems this game has appeared on PlayStation 4, PlayStation Vita, Linux, Mac OS, Windows, Xbox One. Hmm. So it was ported from the Vita to the Switch. I vividly remember telling a story on air, and this is probably going to be the hint that gives it to you. So I'm going to start another track real quick. <laughs> Let's go with this one. Um, but I vividly remember telling the story on air where this game, when I played it on my buddy's PS4 and realized I could get it on my Vita and play it crossplay was the reason I bought my oh, PS4. Oh, I remember I, you having I, that conversation. I, what were you talking I played about? This game. I played this game when my mom was in the hospital getting her kidney transplant done. Yeah. What were you I had it on Vita and I took, I took my PlayStation 4 home set it up and immediately went to the hospital because she got her kidney transplant that night. So I have very fond memories of this game. Yeah, I very I remember you saying that. What it's you... a sequel. Clearly this story made a greater impression than the game. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that's how most of these games are for me. Most of my favorite games are tied to memories. Um... The original version of this game, because this game is also a sequel, was a PlayStation Mini in the days of the PlayStation Portable. I like this soundtrack a lot. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. The only That's PlayStation weird. Mini I have is Pac-Man Championship Edition, and this isn't that. That was a good one. Hey guys, um, your developer is Future Lab. And the Switch version was published by Curve Digital. Um, the, the PC and Xbox One version were actually 
published by Future Lab and Activision. Huh. Activision. Activision. I've heard of them too. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna kick myself. We have nobody's gotten a point tonight, huh? No, hard no, mode. And remember too, these are games that I've played in intentions, and I think this one I played two or three times. I was looking something up on GameStop and I can't remember what it was. So what would you guys like to do? Do you want to hear another song or do we want to proceed and move on to game four? Um, give me one more song and then yeah, we'll have to I, I, nothing's coming to me. I'm I'm hoping I have an epiphany here, but So this song actually appeared in both uh the original game and the new game. I like this a lot. This is, this is a song <laughs> from the second game. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to have to I th concede here. I just can't put my finger on it. So I can hear Lucas screaming at his phone right now because he's probably listening to us. And I can hear him screaming. I'm going to give it to you. <clears throat> he's screaming Velocity 2X at you guys. Dang! Yep, yeah, Velocity. Okay, yep, yep, yep. That's right. Okay. Okay. Steve, you're winning in 10 tunes. We're, I know, I've got three points. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I think this one's going to go a little bit quicker. Um, this one, by the way, I'm just going to tell you, falls in the category of remake. It was a remake that is also a point. Okay. Is this Diddy Kong Racing DS? It's not. Oh, I didn't think that one. Good call, Justin. I'll have to remember that. Jeez, if if you used any of the games that I'm actually guessing, I'd be winning. But you know. <laughs> this may be the first night where the host wins Nintendo's. This sounds why your theme should have been games that sound like David Wise. Like, let's... Right? I know. Actually, this is a little bit more Grant Kirkco, but still, yeah. Games that sound like like rare games. <laughs> I'm surprised you guys haven't gotten it just by the sound bomb. Poor Lucas. He's going to be screaming at his phone when he listens to the show. How about hey, another track? This is the second track. Oh, okay. Just kidding. I, I swapped it on you mid-track there. Um, your first hint, this is another Switch game. Oh, okay. I was going to ask something specific, but all right. Um, um, this game is also Ukulele? on PlayStation. Uh, no. Um, I'm stuck in rare mode. <laughs> I don't think I used Ukulele because it was originally planned to be on a, on a Nintendo console, so I think I just qualified it for that reason. Mm-hmm. Okay. <sighs> yeah, Justin, we suck. <laughs> and this is a straight up Steve game too. Like God, this, this is music. Straight up Steve game. It doesn't help that most of these have been Switch games, and I haven't played as many Switch games as you guys. So. Incidentally, the last time I played this, Eugene got it on the very first song. Um, your, <laughs> your next hint. Shaking his head. This is a platformer. He said switch? Yep. All right, uh, do we get genre? Platformer. Yeah, platformer. It's interesting, by the way, you would say that you're stuck in rare mode, Justin, because this game hails from the day of the mascot platformer. It's original release. Oh, is this Crash Bandicoot? Oh, damn it! <laughs> Come on! Oh, my Yay, God. first point of the game. My God, I'm embarrassed! Justin, do me a favor, will you? Put three points on for me. I just want to see if you guys... <laughs> no, they don't actually count. I just want to see if you guys can beat me. I don't I'm, think so. Uh, morbidly curious at this point. Wow, that was terrible. All right. 
Hit me All with right, your best guys. shot, Steve. I'm going to tell you point blank this next one I threw on for Lucas, so good luck. Oh, oh God. God. I'm beginning to remember why we stopped playing this game. You just hate it when I host. You're fine when uh, Eugene hosts. I hate it when anyone other than me hosts. It's true. It is so and much even fun. then, it's frustrating. <laughs> no, it's so much more fun being the host and listening to you guys suffer. This isn't oh, yeah. like Prince of Persia or something, is it? It's not. So this game has been on two consoles that were Nintendo. Um, new Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo Switch. Is this Binding of Isaac? Oh, man! Justin, what are you this, doing right this now? This is going to be another game where everything I get is based solely on the clues, not the music. Th this year's Nintendo's um, tally is going to be very rough to win, especially if we don't do it in Am I every to be week? keeping track? Well, on the plus side, you know, Lucas I is been. falling behind now. <laughs> well, I think I this is only our second one of the year, the first one I hosted. Yeah, I guess I better get caught up on the tally then, huh? <laughs> All right, guys, here's our next game. It's one, two, three, four, five. This is six. So, Justin, you have two points and I have three, unofficially. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. I'm sleep deprived, so forgive me. Oh, God damn it! That file <laughs> won't play. Let's try another one. Uh, track two. Coffee. Hmm. Is this Okami? Nope. One of these is going to be Okami. Actually, no. I've never... No? I don't know. I can't remember if I've ever played Okami, but it's not on this list. I promise you that. I have Okami, but I also have never played it. I have it on Vita, and I've never played it. Well, that's why, because you have it on Vita. Yeah, not Switch. This this game has... God, all these games have good soundtracks. <laughs> um... I'm going to ask for a genre first. Metroidvania. Oh god. Is this Axiom Verge? Yep. Yeah. Good job, Eugene. There it is. There's the old ding that I miss. Shit, I didn't mean to What stop are you talking that. about? I used it last week when I was tallying your uh, twenty question points. I know, but still. Okay. Here is our next one. Quaying up. <sighs> you pressed the button. Dang. Weld in the thing. Metroid? Metroid Federation Force? Metroid Prime? Metroid Prime Masters Trilogy? Remakes. Metroid nope. Prime Trilogy? Okay. <laughs> Ports, Remasters, Remakes. Yeah, it could have been Trilogy. It could or have been Samus trilogy. Returns. There it is. Justin just got it. I was already thinking Metroid, but, you know. I had to wait for Eugene to get all the wrong answers first. Can I just point out I'm for so a minute? so mad right Justin now. Was, Justin was the one complaining about me hosting Nintendo Tunes. And what are you, three to zip right now, Justin? <laughs> hey, I got no, a point. Eugene got the last one. Oh, three to one. I got, That's got right. a point, Steven. That's right. You got your obligatory point. That's right. <laughs> How does it feel, Eugene? It's rough. It's a rough life. <laughs> How does right. it feel being Steve? It sucks. <laughs> Here we go. What the heck is this, Steve? Is this Hyrule Warriors? Nope. The music's almost as good, though. In fact, I almost used Hyrule Warriors. But I only had one song on that soundtrack. Can I ask a question, or is it too early? You can ask a question. What was the original console? Good question. 
The original console on this one was Wii U. All right, then it's not what I was thinking. Wii U then probably sw to switch, obviously. Is this like Lego City Undercover? No, you didn't like that game. Actually, he hasn't played that game. Original console on this one was PlayStation 4, then it came to Switch. My mistake. Still isn't what I was thinking. Okay, PlayStation. I game on both consoles. This is a double dip game for me. Did it appear on the Wii U? No. Its predecessor did. This is the third game in a series. Much as third, I'm this song. The third one came out on Wii U. No, the third, sorry. The original console on this was PlayStation 4, then it was ported to Switch. It was never on Wii U. Its predecessor, the second one, was on Wii U. Is this like a Lego? Is this, is this Bit Trip Runner 2, 3? <sighs> Damn it! Justin is reading me like a. Wow! Boy. Interestingly and enough, again, I'm getting it from one, the clues. The original one started on Wii and was ported to 3DS. The second one was on Wii U, ported to Vita. The third one was on PS4, ported to Switch. Real consistent there with their releases. Uh huh. All right. Who's ready for another one? Sure. Why not? I'm mopping the floor with Eugene right now, so it's not nice, Justin. Actually, with your hair, it'd be more like scrubbing, you know, like a sponge or one of those. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm like a, I'm like, I'm like a um, steel wool. Yeah. That first track was so short, you guys didn't even hear it. Pikmin two, Pikmin. Nope. Pikmin three. No, that wasn't part of anything. I almost said Pikmin two wasn't a port, but then I remembered the new play control yep. version. I'm surprised Pikmin hasn't been released on 3DS, like a real Pikmin game. We had that rumor, the rumors for the longest time of a new Pikmin game, and then there was the Hey Pikmin, but there was still, like, I think Miyamoto said that they're still in the works on the real Pikmin. I can't remember. That was a few years ago. Uh, there's an explanation, explanation for that, but I don't feel like getting into it. Some, <laughs> some uh, different music. God, you're you're just off the wall with the music. Choice. Right? This doesn't even seem from the same game. This is another game I need to play. I like it. I mean, I like it. Here's your first hint. We talked about this game today. Nice. Oh, come on, Steve. All right, has this been released yet? On a Nintendo system. <laughs> yeah, I have the uh, cartridge uh, for this one, actually. Cartridge. Cartridge. Cartridge, cartridge or card? The same thing. No, they're not the same thing. There's a very important distinction. Cartridge or card? card well, what does switch, what is switch use? Cartridge? Card. I would call those cards. What is does it Nintendo call them? Cards. Card. Okay, then it's... Uh, I have this card. Oh! I think I know this. You should. You were the one that mentioned it. Is this Hyrule Warriors? No. I told you, I only had one song for Hyrule Warriors, and Justin would have got it right off the bat. What is this game? I want to say Blossom Tales, but I know we didn't talk about it. Is it Undertale? Oh. It is under time. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> oh, Lord Almighty. We're just going to finish, Eugene. I don't think you can win at this point, but we're just going to finish. It is currently I only five have two one. more games. <laughs> wow. This is embarrassing. Oh. Like, really? Like, I'm embarrassed for myself. Welcome to my life, Eugene. This is how I normally do. <laughs> this is how I normally do. So, you know, I, I'm not usually this far in the lead. This is Lucas's job. <laughs> Hyrule Warriors. Nope, but interestingly enough, we've talked about this game tonight, too. <laughs> oh, God. Okami. No, it's not Okami. Nope.
Oh, this is beautiful. And the next game we've talked about tonight, too, as a matter of fact. Hmm. The nice thing is, this last couple games, I haven't even really had to give you guys hints. Talked about this game tonight. How about system? Can we get the console this was on? Yep. Sorry, that's the Wikipedia page. Um, your Nintendo system is Wii U. Hmm. It was also on PS3, Xbox 360, PS4, Windows, and Xbox One. Is this Assassin's Creed 3? Oh my god. No. This is Assassin Black. Creed Black Flag? Black Flag. There it is, Eugene. Yes! Yes, Steven! You said it at the same sorry. time, but I'm giving it to Eugene. Justin, I'm sorry. You them. said Assassin's Creed 3 and Eugene put it together. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. I'll give it to him. I need, I need the pity point, Justin. <laughs> well, I mean, if you and Steve combine your points, we're tied. Our powers <laughs> combined. Well, should we see how quickly this last one goes? Because I think this is going to go very quickly. Let's. Hyrule Warriors. Shantae. Nope. Nope. Oh my god. Mario Maker. Nope. What is this? What is this theme? What is this theme? This reaction last time I played what is this, this game. What is this theme? What is this theme? I know what this is, Steve. System. Sorry, I didn't have my page full. Oh uh, this has been on Wii U, 3DS, and Switch. Captain Toad. Oh man! <laughs> God duh. I'm pretty so, pissed right so now. Tonight. Don't even read this whole, don't even read the score. Don't even <laughs> read gonna, the I'm score. I'm not going to read the score, but I'm just going to say Justin has won. Oh, oh man, it was really that bad? Oh my god. <laughs> and I want to reiterate, Justin complained about me hosting. <laughs> I didn't complain about you hosting, I complained uh. about the game. <laughs> oh lord almighty. Okay, um, I'm going to go compose myself, and then we're going to be right back after these messages. I knew I had heard that.
All right, Twitch, we're back. We're ready to rock and roll. Let me make a note in my audacity, and we'll get started. Um, yes, oh, make do you a note. I crushed you. <laughs> um, do you guys want to fight over the two questions in the question block? Um, what are the two questions in the question block? It's Answer. one from Robert and one from Minus. <sighs> I'll do Robert. All right, and I Steve. I'll do minus, even though I haven't gotten there yet. Steve, I'm going to let you bring us into question block then and read your first question. Okay. Here we go. Ask the Infendo hosts a question. Any question. There are no limits. Just go to patreon.com slash Infendo Radio, and at the $3 level, ask us anything. And uh, we are really, really getting what we asked for tonight. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a very amazing episode of Infendo Radio, where Eugene was just spanked by Justin in ten tunes <laughs> in the epic loss of all losses. <sighs> Don't remind me, Steve. Um, what happens <laughs> before the break stays before the break, okay? Nope, it does not. This is not Vegas, my friend. Um, we're going to go ahead and start one of our awesome Patreon segments, The Question Block, where for $3 a month, you get to ask us a question, Nintendo, or Nintendo related or not. And our first question is not. The one and only Robert Gagnon asks us, can you name 10 NHL hockey teams? Or are you all just video game nerds? Smiley emoticon. I probably could if you gave me enough time because I am a hockey All right, fan. All let's do it. Let's do it. Let's I, do it. I, I can name oh, one. Are we collective, collectively? Yeah, collectively. Yes. We got the Los Angeles Kings. All right, the yeah. The Utah Grizzlies. Okay. All right, and I've got the uh, Islanders and Rangers. So okay. we got our own home team. All right, um, so that, we're already at five. We five. So okay, then we've got five. the Coyotes you know, the Ducks, from Arizona. The Ducks of Anaheim. Sure. Okay. Um, the Tampa Bay Lightning. Edmonton, I want to say Oilers, right? Oilers. Yep, Oilers. Toronto. Um, what, what's Toronto's team? What's, they have to have a team, right? Maple, Maple Leafs. There you go. That's nine. Hey. Or that's ten. Aha! Yeah, there you go, Robert. I wasn't we're sure not, whether, we're whether we had nerds. to do it collectively. See, there's also the Philadelphia he, Flyers, the Boston Bruins. He didn't say collectively, so we're at 12. Um, Keep going. Okay, wait, 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 wait. wait. Let's uh, throw Penguins. Let's throw a wrench in here. Can you name a single player from any one of those teams we just mentioned? Well, oh, no. oh, <laughs> well the St. Louis Blues I don't know whether they still have, but they used to have Andy McDonald, who was a student at Colgate University, and I would and I used to actually watch him play um, at Colgate University. So you know, I, I don't know if he's I, still playing, but I do know that G, that DJ Jimmy Chunga of Podbash.com, our partner, used to play hockey professionally. I just don't know if it was with the NHL. So we're going to count that. The but only he doesn't play anymore. The only two uh, hockey players I can name that are maybe not even playing anymore, but um, are Sidney Crosby and Alex Ovechkin. That's about all I got. You're making those up. Those can't be real names. <laughs> oh, those are definitely real hockey names. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne Gretzky, yeah, he, one of the greatest ooh. athletes of all time of any sport. May he rest yeah. in peace. Mm -hmm. He's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> We're, we're not just shallow video game nerds, see? <laughs> we're multi-talented. Oh. Let's talk about geography We can fuck up any topic. <laughs> exactly. Hey, Justin, let's switch over to geography now. Yes, <laughs> please. Uh, minus takes us literally on our Ask Us Anything as well. And, so, and says, you see so many products that say Made in China on them by either stamped in a sticker by, by either a stamp or a sticker. I'm guessing that's supposed to say. Um, so here's my question. Who makes the stickers or stamps that say made in China? Oh my God. That's a, that is inception level minus stuff. Um, <laughs> I bet it's Japan because I hold in my hand a power morpher and it actually says China on the back, but weren't the original power Rangers Japanese, Justin? 
Uh, yes, and the so toys see, are made by Japan. Bandai, which is also a Japanese company. So see, Japan um, makes the Made in China stickers. <laughs> yeah, I'm going. I'm going to assume that whoever makes the Made in China labels is the home company of whatever the products um, manufacturer is. That, that would so, make the most you know, sense. Like, it, yeah. you know, you know, like if it's an American product that's made in China, as most are, it would still say it would it would be sta- like Apple products say manufactured in China, but they're very clearly assembled in in the United States. <laughs> right. Yeah. I um I'm gonna go with all stickers are made in in um they're made in Stockholm. That's where they're made. <laughs> Makes sense. Hmm. I like it. All your stickers are belong to us. <laughs> Fair. Well, uh, if you want to be like Robert and or Minus, you can too. Just go to patreon.com slash Infendo Radio and, you know, throw us a few bones. Ask us a question. Don't um, be like Minus. <laughs> no, please be like Minus. <laughs> please, please, please. Um, but we're going to take a little break and we'll be right back. Twitch, we're back. We're about to start. I'm going to mute myself yeah. and get going. Go. <clears throat> Does it, Justin, do you want to lead us into Change the System since you haven't le- led us into anything yet? Sure. And anyways, you're talking in the in this portion, so it's fitting. Here we go. I'm muting myself, and then the music's going to start. Here we go. Which one of us gets to wear something ridiculous? You get to choose at patreon.com slash infendo radio. All right, and we're back. I'm hoping I got the cue because I wasn't actually watching the Zoom. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, I see you now. Um, We're back and uh, ready to roll on into our next segment known as Change the System, where we discuss the games we've been playing over the past week on Nintendo systems and otherwise. Mm -hmm. Uh, So I have one new game I've been playing on the Switch um, and a few games I've been playing on other systems. So um, I'm it's all right with you guys. I'm just going to go ahead and jump into it. Get it. Uh, Go ahead. I, I... I got into it after uh, downloading Octodad and telling one of my friends at work about it. He said, oh, yeah, I love those games where the controls are intentionally bad. Um, There's a game on the PC called Surgeon Simulator. And I'm like, really? I think I've heard of that. I wonder if there's a Switch version. There is a Switch version. It is impossible. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like nice. I tried, I tried with Joy-Con detached, and that was just that, that was just horrendous. Um, Does it have motion controls? Oh yeah, it has motion controls, and yeah. there is, and they are awful. Um, I tried doing it in handheld mode and fared reasonably better. I think the most success I had with with the game was using a pro controller, but the calibration of the motion controls gets all out of whack the longer you play it. So by the end of it, I was actually holding the controller like this in order to keep the hand up straight. Oh God. And um, 
Well, the longest I went without committing brutal murder was about six minutes on any tries. But <laughs> basically, Surgeon Simulator is it's a sim game, and I and I and I put that in quotation marks because it is just intentionally like difficult. Yeah. And, and it's complete nonsensical. You're not doing any actual realistic surgery or anything. Like, you start out with the body's already open, and uh, you've got tools all over, and you can pretty much pick up and use any tool. So, like, and they're hard to hold on to. And again, it's hard to control because it's supposed to be, because that's part of the fun. So I pick up the... the the bone saw to cut through his rib cage and it's at the wrong angle. And so, you know, I end up cutting him in the face. And when I go to stop the bleeding on his face, I drop the saw on the floor. So I pick up a power saw and try to do it that way. Well, no, that doesn't work because I have just shattered the rib cage into a hundred pieces, but none of it is where I actually need it cut open so all right that's no good and now i've dropped the electric saw on his face and i can't reach it <laughs> so i reach over to the side and grab a hammer and just start bashing away at what's left of his ribs then i have to reach in and i'm trying to do perform a heart transplant well the heart is behind the lungs so i take a so i to it. So I take a lung and just rip it out of the body, toss it off to the side. <laughs> and this, um, children, is why you're sedated for surgery. <laughs> um, then the esophagus is in the way. So I try, you know, pulling it out of the way, yanking it out of the body. That doesn't work. No, you have to cut it. But you need a special tool to cut it. Otherwise, you're just cutting everything. <laughs> And so I grab a scalpel and you have to get a special scalpel or go at it from a special thing. And I'm cutting. It's not working. I'm cutting. It's not working. I'm hacking away at it with the <laughs> scalpel and blood's flying everywhere. This is a game everywhere. I've been meaning to pick up in VR. And it, now you're making me really want to actually try it. <laughs> oh, God. It, it might mm -hmm. actually be playable in VR because at least your hands are doing what your hands are doing. Sure. But, uh, but yeah, so um, I finally get um i finally get all the organs out of the way and i can't reach far enough into the body to pick up the heart and i can't figure out how to do it so eventually i just pick up pick up one of the sharp implements and start cutting the guy to shreds and letting him bleed to death because it's more fun than actually selecting quit or retry um so that's my experience with Surgeon Simulator. It's it's good for a couple of yucks. It was on sale when I bought it. It is not anymore. Um, I think it's typically fifteen dollars. I got it for ten, mm -hmm. like, roughly. Nice. So that was my new Switch game of the week. Um, I've lost my Switch. I don't know where it is. I was playing. I was playing Breath <laughs> of the Wild the other night. I took the Switch out of the dock. Stuck it into its carrying case. <laughs> I think I brought it upstairs and set it next to the bed, but it's not there. Um, I have torn I the house apart for the past two days and have not been able to play it. So for the past I two figured days... figured out what happened. That cat that's sitting next to you has stolen it from <laughs> you. <laughs> it from hidey hole. Well... Okay. Well, I talked so much about killing people that I didn't get to the other games that I played. So real quick, um, since I couldn't find my Switch, I got onto my Xbox One and played um, two games on it. Um, I downloaded for on uh, the Games with Gold, the uh, was Bloodstained... Curse of the Moon, I think. Which, Curse of the Moon. The, yeah, the 8-bit oh. game that has already come out on Switch. It's really good. It was was available for free on on games with gold so i nice. downloaded that and played that for a while pretty good um i might go back to it but again i've never played an actual castlevania game so you know it's my exp experience with it is very new um and then i played about two hours worth of saints row 2 <laughs> nice my favorite so, saints row is the third i love that one i uh, i've uh, i've I just I feel like the third went too far in the ridiculous direction. See, I that's like what him. I felt about four with the superheroes. Oh yeah, so four I heard is just is just like so ridiculous. It's bad. Yeah. Um, 
but but two i like that it stays somewhat grounded in reality one of my favorite things to do is go to one of the tall buildings grab somebody and just fling them out the window and watch them plummet to their death <laughs> um, so yeah that probably says a lot about me that no one needs to or should know you're on oh, a list also- now I, I also went into the cemetery and was shooting headstones with a shotgun. Um, so who's next? In the game, I hope. <laughs> Those things are expensive. So who's next? <laughs> I'll go next. Take it. Um, like your mom last night. Oh, there it is. It only took us two hours to get there. And probably um, a few episodes. Yeah, now we've had a your mom joke every time. Um. I played a little bit more Hyrule Warriors. I believe at this point... <laughs> Color me I, surprised. I'll, I'll, only a little bit, though, this time, I promise. Um, <laughs> I think I've pulled every secret item, character, weapon, heart container, and Skulltula out of the first map. And I'm about six missions from being done with the second map as well. So my second map, which is the main Wind Waker map, just hit 95% completion as far as A ranks. And then... I think I'm missing six heart containers out of it, and I already have all the skull tools. So I'm almost there on the second map. Um, the, the game that I've spent the majority of my week on is actually Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, the more I get into that game, the more I like it. I was a little bit iffy at first, just because it had been a long time since I played a Kingdom Hearts game. But the further you get into it, the better it gets. Um, the, the combat system at face value seems really simple. It's very much a hack and slash game. Um, But as you level Sora up, you gain access to new abilities. um, And some of those abilities are combo pluses. So you get, you have ground and aerial combo pluses. And every time you get a new one, it adds another attack. So you can jump up in the air. And if you've got four aerial pluses equipped to him, then you can slash four times in the air. And then usually before he hits the ground, you can start another combo attack, so you can go like forty-five seconds without even touching the ground. You, you need to right, play. A... You need. Oh, sorry, I was just gonna say real quick. You need to play the Tales games because the combat sounds very That's, similar. And see, because of that, and because of talking to our patrons, I'm actually looking at picking up Tales of Vesperia. You should. On oh God, you should. That's a really good one. So. Because that's what I want is something like that that I can play on the go. Mm Because that is Kingdom Hearts' biggest flaw is I'm tethered to my PS3. And so I can really only... I I don't like to play it on weeknights because it can be an hour and a half but in between save points. And I don't want to go to bed at four in the morning because I've kind of gotten used to sleeping again. (laughs) Um, So I only play it on weekends. But my gaming sessions on the weekends, I put 12 hours into it just this weekend in two days Jeez. so let me ask you something about the combat because i remember not liking the combat in the original kingdom hearts and that's why i never played another one um uh-huh. would you say the combat is more like traditional zelda hyrule warriors or batman oh god because the way you describe like batman it, arkham yeah, the way you described it, it sounds like it could be something in between some of those because the way you do combos and juggling uh, sounds very Hyrule so, Warriors. L- let me tell you kind of how it is. It sort of resembles Hyrule Warriors, hmm. only to a point, though. Like, it's got the same basic setup. Like, the combo system is very much like Hyrule Warriors, except for you don't get combos by pushing different buttons. You just get them by attaching combo pluses to them. Okay. Um, well, that, so, 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 it, so it's kind so of like you, Bayonetta in the fact that you can just keep mashing the same button over and over again, but to get different combos. Right. Okay, and the beauty, cool. the beauty, though, of the Kingdom Hearts battle system is it's not just the button mashing. There's also some ATB style stuff in it. So, like, you'll hit an enemy that has a specific attack, the attack type inside it. You'll, it'll have a cursor on it, mm-hmm. and that'll unlock an amusement park ride attack. And you will have 60 seconds ticking down on a clock that you that you have to activate that attack. And then that attack is a rhythm game. So what you're in the middle of a combo, you hit the triangle button and it activates your ride attack. And it brings out a random ride depending on where the area you're in. So one of them is a pirate ship, one is the teacups, one is that Toy Story shooting ride that I don't know what it's called. Um, Midway menu? But- that one yeah so you'll push the triangle button it unlocks that attack and then from there they're little rhythm based mini games and then you have so much time from when you activate the attack to activate the finisher 
in addition to that, when you attack in conjunction with um, Donald or Goofy or both of them or the heroes in the worlds, so like the snowman marshmallow from Frozen or Hercules in that world or whoever your other helpers are, you can get team-based attacks based on that that will also activate with a triangle button. And you, so you'll be stacking up these timers. And so you'll be mid-combo, you'll activate a ride, you'll take care of that, then you hit it again, and then suddenly Donald and Sora are spinning around shooting fireworks. <laughs> you hit it again, and then you're jumping off the Goofy's shield and throwing him down into the ground. And then you hit it again, and there's just another attack. It's a, sh it's a spectacle to see. It sounds confusing, and it sounds terrible. <laughs> Uh -huh. But once you really get into the flow of it, it's crazy addicting. You know, all this talking about, like, ride references, I think if they ever did a Kingdom Hearts game that was set exclusively in, like, the theme park world, I would probably get it regardless of my, you know, <laughs> right. feelings on, on the story and, and all that. I've always thought they that they of... should um, release a Disney theme park VR thing so you can, like, go on all the rides in VR. That'd yes. be cool. And all they, the rides that aren't there anymore. They, That's what they have a lot of theme park references. And they have a lot of they have a lot of theme park references. Sorry about that. My internet was cutting out. There's a <laughs> lot of theme park references in Epic Mickey, if you're looking for something like that. I, I have Epic I Mickey. Give up. I've beaten Epic Mickey and um it's okay. <laughs> Um, are you frozen again? I think he's frozen again. So, so yeah, yes, he's frozen <laughs> again. <laughs> hey, hey, I think I am Steve. I back? Am Steve. I back? He's Steve. back. Speaking, speaking, speaking of frozen. Oh, oh speaking, <laughs> speaking, did, speaking did, of frozen, Steve. Did, that's did, the only question see, I want to ask. Did, did you see the trailer for Frozen Two? Oh, did you see God. the trailer for Frozen Two? Yeah, I did, and I hate the movie already. Oh my God, um, it looks awesome. No, it doesn't. It's her running on a wave. That's the whole trailer. That's yeah, but mean. like the whole thing looks like it's going to be like epic and cool. So I do have to say, though, in the frozen world in Kingdom Hearts, her snowman marshmallow is so much fun to play with because he's got this really cool team attack where you jump on his back and he just beats the living crap out of everything around him. It's really fun. Sounds like so. Monster Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> So that is my change of system. Hyrule Warriors, Kingdom Hearts 3. Nice. And Frozen 2. <laughs> no, not Frozen 2. <laughs> Steve, Steve, you know what you got to do, right? Yeah, let, let it, it fucking go. <laughs> Eugene, you got your work cut out for you tonight. I I I mute you, myself you to uh, to write you, one Eugene. note, and then I gotta mute myself to write another one. Steve, Eugene, Eugene, you can't hold them back anymore. Oh God, I'm gonna just start talking about my changes system before I have to make any more notes. Um, yeah, so I've been playing a lot of the kind of the same games, but um, a new one as well. So let's get the same out of the way first. Um, first of all, I have been playing Pokemon Go. And I have been playing Pokemon Let's Go because there is an event going on currently where it only takes three days to get your special mystery box for Meltan. So mm -hmm. I have been stocking up on those and I have my shiny Meltan. It was the very first Meltan, actually. I still don't have a Meltan. What? Get to Fuchsia <laughs> but City. I do, but I do have a new best friend. Yes, you do. That that is truth. This is truth because <laughs> um, to, to run with that. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, playing Pokemon Go. I got Justin um, to figure out what a lucky egg meant because I guess you hadn't used one before. But I'm glad you did because I'm sure you got a nice big fat XP bonus when we became best friends. Yes, I did. And and now that I know what they do, um, I typically get the seven day streaks on on at least Pokestops, if not Pokestops and captures. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make sure to keep those lined up and use a lucky yep. egg every seventh day because... And then the the best way to do that is, if possible, to also tie that in with evolving Pokemon because that's another key way to get a lot of XP is by, you know, evolve all your Pidgeys, evolve all your rats. It's great. 
Um, but yeah, so I've been playing Pokemon Go. Um, in addition to Pokemon Go, I've been playing Pokemon Let's Go. And um, not a lot more to say there, just aside from the fact that um, I'm just kind of trying to do all the cleanup that's involved. Not... I'm gonna have to say it's not the most fun to find all of the trainers and find all the you know find all the I, I'm not having fun finding the Ekans trainer let's just say like that's that's not yeah it's like not that special but anyways <laughs> like that that's still cool I mean going in and cleaning up doing that fun stuff but mostly honestly just for the Meltans. But um, other than that, I have been playing a non-Nintendo game because, my lord, a game took the world by storm last week. Um, who would have thought that people would be talking about an EA game? Um, Apex Legends. Really good. Super great game. Um, it's a battle royale game, like, you know, kind of like your Fortnites or your PUBGs. But um, with the twist, there is a, there is a um, team aspect to it, but you have to play in a team of three. Um so that's pretty neat. Um, I it it has your um, shooting kind of like what you would expect from a Call of Duty because it is by Respawn, the um, ex developers of Call of Duty. So you know it, you kind of know what you're getting into when you when you play a game like that. But um, yeah, it's really really good. It's set in like the Titanfall universe, so that's kind of neat. Um, like I said, it's three player teams. Um, and then I don't think it's a hundred player battles. I think it's, ca I think it's somewhere around like 60 or 70 or something like that. I, I can't remember. Don't quote me on that one. But, um, what I find really neat about this one and what I think like a game like Fortnite and even PUBG can learn from is that there's a lot of quality of life, um, things about this game. So like you can just like, I'm playing on the Xbox one cause I played on the PC and I get my butt kicked every time with mouse and keyboard. It's just not fun. But anyways, <laughs> on, on, um, Xbox one, all you have to do is like, I, I think it's like the bump, one of the bumper buttons and wherever you're pointing at will be like a little beacon or whatever for your teammates. Right. So like if you're pointing at, Shut up, Luigi. If you're pointing at like a crate of, um, like weapons and, and stuff like that, you can, you can, Put the bumper and then there will be like a nice voice dialogue um, that will say, hey, there's a crate over here or whatever with a bunch of stuff. Or you can actually point to the actual gun and it will say, hey, there's a shotgun over here. Or you can point to the, like the ammo and it will say, hey, there's shotgun ammo over here. So like without having voice chat, you can very easily communicate with your teammates. So I think that's um, really awesome. Um, so the that that's really neat. The, the other aspect about this game that I'm really enjoying is that when you die it's not over because your teammates can go to a respawn point and then they can um you know potentially respawn the rest of their teammates if they're the only one left right so like i was in a battle just the other night where we made it to the top i think we were the top two teams we didn't win but um i died early on and then my teammate died soon thereafter me so it was just like literally this one guy for like almost like five, 10 minutes of the match. He respawned us somehow and we came back and we all got like, you know, I, I got a couple of kills. This guy was a monster. He had like 15 kills. We made it to top two. So like uh, in a game like a Fortnite or a PUBG, if you're playing teams, if you die, you're out, you know, you're just kind of, you're just kind of w mm -hmm. watching from the sidelines. So that's a neat, interesting aspect of it. Um, another thing I liked about this one is that, um, I felt anyways that it was a lot easier to like manage my items and stuff. There's like a a color um a color scale, I guess you could say. So like purple, I think it's purple. I don't know what freaking color it is. But um, <laughs> there's there is a colorblind mode in this by the way. But anyways, like that you can t you can tell what the um, highest tier um um, weapon is just by looking at the color of the weapon or whatever, right? So like I know that oh man, I want to get this legendary shotgun because it outclasses my crappy shotgun that I have right now, you know. So I might want to swap it out. So yeah, there's a mm -hmm. lot to be a lot of good about Apex Legends. I'm sure that everybody has heard a lot about that game because it is like again, it's taken the world by storm. I think it's at like yeah. 25 million downloads or something at this point, like two million concurrent. Like it's it's insane. It's all most podcasts are talking about right now is Apex Legends. Mm -hmm. like I just yeah. watch my feeds, Apex, Apex, Apex. Yeah, yeah. It, and, and you know, it's really good. So, like, good on them. I mean, I think that, that it's warranted. It's uh, I, I wish that it would come to the Switch. That'd be so cool. But I, I'm not holding my breath on that one. Although, um, the what I, what I can say from um, – what I can say is that the – 
there is a way when I'm playing that game, it lets you play it on Xbox early if you if you haven't downloaded the whole thing. So like what happens is I guess it's downloading like the high quality texture packages. So I'm thinking that like maybe they can bring it to the Switch by tweaking some things like maybe put the lower quality texture package on the Switch and you know things mm -hmm. like that. Crossing my fingers on that one, not holding my breath, however. So, um, yeah, Apex Legends, really fun. If you have a Xbox or a PlayStation 4 or a PC, download it. It's free. I mean, it's, you know, just like Fortnite, there's microtransactions. So that's kind of where they hook you. Okay, well, um, I just realized that Luigi didn't tell me anything before. So um, I'm going <laughs> to give him his turn right here. <laughs> Thank you, Luigi. <laughs> And we've done it. So we made it to the end of the show. We no no animals were harmed in the making of this film. Um, it's it's fantastic. We did it. What almost was if she kept on climbing across me like she was. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, all right. Well, before we get out of here, we're going to tell you everything about us and where you can find us and where you can send us our Valentine cards. Um, you can find me at Infendo Eugene on Twitter. Make sure to follow that for all the latest retweets. Um, whenever I feel like. Um, also, you can go to at Infendo on Twitter, so make sure to follow that one as well. And then go to Infendo.com and, you know, give us a look there. Steve, where can the people find you? Um, you can find me at Gentus1 on Twitter. A lot. Way too much. <laughs> uh, and then you can also find Infendo Radio now on podbash.com. Mm -hmm. And while I'm here, I'd like to plug Lucas. You can find him at Chromatic Hue on Twitter or over at chromaticu.com. Mm. Perfect. Justin, where can the people find you? Uh, you can find me at Infendo Justin on Twitter. And you can find me exploring my own Disney theme park passions at Utilidork on Twitter or at Utilidork.com. Very nice. Awesome. Come right to me. We got all the dot coms today. <laughs> That's right. All right. Well, uh, we made it to the end of the show. I cannot wait to have another one next week. We can't have to wait for you to be here with us. Make sure to join us on Twitch if you would like to join in live. So we did also get a new Twitch follower this week. Um, I'm just trying to remember. Do we have their name handy, Eugene? Yeah, I think they, they followed us right at the end of last week, right before we um, started recording. Their name is Ultraman um, Odin. So thank you very much, Ultraman Odin, for the the, the follow. I think uh, we're at 47. So we're so close, you guys. Just ask three of your friends to give us a follow. <laughs> <laughs> well, the official count is actually um, 46. So if you haven't followed us, you follow us and then get three of your friends. Yeah, exactly. I'm trying to picture the Japanese Ultraman character with one eye and like Norse garb. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Right. All right. Well, um, we did it. We're going to see y'all next week. We love you. Goodbye. Peace. Good night. I miss Lucas's bye bye. I'm still, I know I'm, I'm still gonna, let's just wait out here for it. It's fine. You can <laughs> wait for however many hours it takes. Okay, mm -hmm. let me. Um, oh, yeah, let's say goodbye to Twitch. See y'all later, bye, Twitch. Bye, bye Thanks Twitch. for being here with us. We love you. Bye bye. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, God. Can't hold it back <laughs> anymore.